Hello and welcome everybody to Haywood RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd. This is 4,715 pounds as we see it built in option here today. The ultra popular 264BH J-Flight. And I've always had a sweet spot for this camper because when I go camping, this is the layout that I tend to go camping in, albeit a couple year older version of it without a lot of the new good looking things. And speaking of good looks, wow, wow. Just a seriously improved aesthetic both inside and out on these. Now the one that we're looking at today has the, I guess you call it traditional sort of brown decor. I believe it's called like cottage or something like that. They are finally going to be offering a, a, a version of the modern farmhouse decor on these J-Flight SLXs. So stay tuned for that footage. I'll get you some of that as soon as I can if I haven't got to it already. Um, the, uh, this floor plan, if, if you are getting your first camper or if you're just kind of camping casually, I just don't know if there's a better layout. That's the reason I go camping in one of these. Despite uh, my experience in the industry as a person who goes out myself, I don't get to go camping a lot. It's the catch-22 of being in the RV industry. I gotta be here most of the time. And this one just works. It gives me good storage, good sleeping capacity for my family. It's carpetless, it's easy, it's a little bit taller inside. It's got that unbeaten warranty, the Goodyear tires, the safety lighting on the turn signals that we'll talk about later. And then it's the little things, like a black tank flush, an outside shower, that I'm going to call this the more basic series camper that Jayco makes, but it's it's got everything you need and nothing you don't. That's what's awesome about this one. And it's not just the exterior that got a facelift, it's also the interior. And what you're seeing here is even the J-Flight SLX series is taking a little bit of notes from things like Eagle or Whitehawk or J-Feather. They're going to offer two very different decors. Basically, what you're going to be looking at is one like this. It's very traditional, warm, and welcoming, kind of a brown on brown. And then they're going to have a variation of the modern farmhouse made available in the SLX series that they never had before. I'm personally very excited to see that because especially on a trailer like this, you know, this is a cozy, quaint, no slide model. It's got just enough of everything. Like it's got good sleeping and good storage. It's got just enough of everything to get you through, which is why I think it's a great kind of first timers RV. Like we crack things open up here. This is all pocket screwed uh, cabinetry where it screws into wood, not staples into particle board. You see, we've got the gas, uh, I'm sorry, not the gas electric standard fridge, but the 12 volt two way fridge upgrade applied right there. And then there's just little details like a couple actual full extension plywood drawers in the kitchen. You saw that space for a wastebasket down there below that sealed edge countertop. These are the everyday use, feel, and function features you really want and really need in an RV. Um, it's a more basic series trailer. The SLX series, again, is the very most, most basic thing Jayco makes. But you add stuff like a sink cover and you're, you're good. Like, that's all it needs. And this 12 volt fridge over here, if you're new to all of this, that is larger in capacity um, by about 33% uh, or so versus the standard fridge, while also giving you faster cooling and it's completely travel safe, which is uh, real awful nice. You might notice this floor plan is completely carpetless. So, you know, when some goofball like me, I don't think about it. I just go stomping through the camper, drives my wife nuts. I'm supposed to take my shoes off at the door. I just kind of forget sometimes. I don't end up tracking dirt through the thing. There's no floor vents in SLXs, so they're easy to clean. Now you can see you've got the blackout kind of night shades, the pleated sort of uh, shades in this. You've got storage above and below the dinette. The dinette and the sofa can both fold into sleepers. We'll look at that in just a second. But take a look at the door side window coverage on this. That's one of my favorite aspects of this floor plan. Because like whether you're sitting here on the couch, if you're in the kitchen, if you're at the dinette, whatever, if you're just sitting here and the kids are outside and you hear some kind of screaming or yelling or shouting, or if it's late at night and you hear a funky sound, you can kind of stand up and be like, oh, what's going on here? Now, I always try to be fair. Uh, I'll tell you sometimes where I would like to see manufacturers do something else or something more, and this is one of those areas. It's just a personal thing with me. This is a full viewing window. It's privacy shade ready, but is there one person out there who doesn't just want the shade installed from the factory. It's an easy thing. It pops up in here. It clips in place. It's it's very simple to apply. It's definitely one of those things. It's like a sink cover. You know, a uh, uh, the, the shade in the window. Those are things I would personally be looking for. Now, one of the things I like about this brand of RV, and I'm going to flip the camera around to show you, is that it's got a 6'9 ceiling height. So 
even at my height, I'm about 6'3 ish with the hat or whatever here. It's very comfortable walking in here. Um, six and a half inches uh, inside, six feet and uh, not six and a half inches, six and a half feet, six feet, six inches. There we go. It's a lot of sixes. Uh, is generally considered standard height in RVs, although a lot of things have since gone. It's 81 inches tall, or I, I use 6'9 because I think it's an easier reference. It just, it opens it up. Like if you were going to have a house, would you want 7 foot ceilings or 8 foot ceilings? You're going to make it rain on 8 foot ceilings every single day. So the couple extra inches of interior height here, I think make a heck of a difference. Now, putting you in the driver's seat, if you sit on the sofa, this is your view right here. This is a simple series camper. Like, this is the same floor plan I told you that I tend to go camping in. I don't put a TV in it. I go camping to get outside. I like to have this camper. It's got just enough of a seating space. I can, you know, feed my family in the mornings. We have enough sleeping, enough storage. But if you camp differently, I respect that. If you want to add a TV, it's directly across from the sofa, which I think is a really ideal position. But there's a couple little Jayco doing Jayco things here that I really appreciate. It's not just a Bluetooth stereo. They actually go ahead and run the HDMI wiring so that should you choose to, you want to slap a TV up there, it's actually all like HD capable. Then there's a bunch of little details like this. Like this is the stuff, if you just look up in a brochure, you're like, well, this brand and that brand, they both say that they have a plywood floor and a walkable roof. Which one's better? These are those little details I want you to look at. Like separate bunk curtains for the upper and lower beds so that if you have people sleeping on the different beds, they're not disrupting one another. The little extra grab handle to get you up here. The uh, the fact that, you know, mom and dad, granted, it helps if you got long arms like mine, can actually reach up here to, to flick that light off. A double thickness bunk mattress on top of plywood, not, not a little wafer thing on top of OSB. Nothing wrong with OSB, but I think given the chance, we'd both prefer plywood. Um, heavier bunk load ratings. Now, if you're looking at this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a kid, I'm sorry. Jayco calls this the Dangler. D -d Dangler. That's the actual name of it from Jayco. Um, it's 300 pounds per sleeping space. So since this is a double bed, that is a 600 pound bunk rating, which is potentially twice as much as you see for most brands. Now you will notice one shift when we get to the bathroom space. Once again, kind of inspired a little bit, I think by like Eagle and Whitehawk. When you get into the bathroom, it actually will always shift to farmhouse and the bedroom will always be the, the cottage brown decor. So there's always going to be a little bit of a color swap there, but it, because it's so defined, it doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Now, a couple cool things here in the bathroom. First of all, lots of headroom. That 6'9 ceiling means if you're, say, six my height, if you're, I bet you could be 6'4", six, 6'5", six, or shorter, you'll never have to duck in the shower. You don't need to put your head in the bubble. Also, full shower surround paneling and a skylight instead of uh, surround paneling or a skylight. And this is something else that really surprised me. Again, it's the most basic series of trailer they make, but actually using like a nicer shower head, like an aftermarket style shower head, I was kind of impressed by that. I thought that was very cool. Now around the toilet here, just to give you a reference, is it the greatest space? No but it's enough space for me to get in, do my business and get out. And I think that's all any of us really need. And whether you're say leaving the bunks, leaving the bathroom, and when you flip around, this is gonna kind of be your view of things right here. Again, that great door side window coverage right under the awning. But something I didn't really tackle from the other direction is the fact that you do have some uh, household plugs right under the table there. That's super handy. And in case you're wondering like, hey, uh, what's that boxy thing under the dinette? That's actually the wheel well right there. Now. Um, this is kind of like a half privacy wall, half open wall to give you privacy when you need it, but to give you the sense of open space the rest of the time. And here's kind of what I mean. If you want to pull that shut, you can absolutely create like a visual break point, especially handy if you're going to be sleeping a bunch of extra people in here. But below that sofa, there is a nice pocket of storage that's otherwise easily missed. You may have noticed there's some stuff under the left side. That is actually going to be like your furnace right there. Now, have you noticed that all the windows, even up here in the bedroom, they still have the nice uh, pleated shades. You don't swap down to metal blinds here. Also, the windows are fully framed out, which gives those uh, shades something real nice to bite into. It's always kind of been my experience that when you have that, the, um, uh, what do I want to say here? Like the shade doesn't tend to, 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 to pop or fall or anything. You've got 
TV hookups across from the master bed area, which is one of the benefits of the half privacy wall. Like Cherokee, they do a wide open wall, whereas Catalina does a full privacy wall. So we have different options here at Halen RV. Wildwood also does a, a full wide open wall. Now, uh, all SLX is actually all Jayco travel trailers and fifth wheels are all roof solar prepped. And should you choose to get it from the factory or add it aftermarket, that's where your wiring is going to be located right over there. Now, the uh, Coors Labatt blue light above the shelf right there, that can be turned off if that ain't exactly your flavor. You can, you know, the, the little switch for it's actually right over here by that nice wide open side stand. Um, oh, speaking of bed stuff, this is new for Jayco. They have completely partitioned off their underbed storage. And a little bit more unique to the SLX series, one of the closets like this is actually a dresser where the other is a normal hanging closet. And that kind of, when they're just both closed, you don't realize that. But I think more people, if we are uh, in a camper of this class, you're probably folding clothes, not hanging clothes. And uh, just so I can answer a question proactively, uh, this is a camp queen. It's a short queen. They leave you room here. You could go up to a true queen and still butt scoot boogie around that thing. But in the SLX series, you'll find camp queens. In the full J Flight series, you'll find true queens. And getting those extra bits of information, that's what we do here for you at Halet RV. So if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. And we'll keep learning as we hop outside. And this is crazy to me. Here's a before and after. And I, again, I'd love your feedback. This is what they used to look like not too long ago. And that is what they look like today. I love it. I love it. Maybe it's just me. Doesn't it look so much more sharp and modern and clean in its execution? This is fantastic. It just, I don't know. I'm all about it. Now there's some Jayco doing Jayco things. Like you see that sticker there for their two plus three year warranty. But notice the tinted windows. Maybe half the campers in this class give you that. That keeps the heat out of the RV more effectively. It helps cut down on furniture fade. This is a gas and electric fast recharge water heater that can give you just shy of 18 gallons per hour. And there's a lot of people who when they see a, an outside kitchen or a camp kitchen, whatever you want to call it, they'll say, can, can I get it built without that? And most of the time you cannot. Most of the time those are standard with very few exceptions. I love it that Jayco actually just gives us an option for just mega storage out here. Big folding chairs, portable picnic tables, all that stuff could very easily fit right in there. Uh, and a TV for our outdoor area, should you be so inclined. That, that's what that little, this is called a key block. Same TV mount that you saw in the bedroom, you've got right here. So you can watch it, you know, indoors or outdoors. Best in class Goodyear Endurance radials is something that like virtually I don't know of anybody else in this class doing that. They're rated for 87 miles per hour, which as you know, is just one mile per hour shy of time travel. I have not yet seen a manufacturer use time travel rated tires. <laughs> now the stable steps that you're looking at, that's an optional thing that I like to add here at Halet RV. I actually dress these up pretty nicely. I like to, uh, to build these with the stable steps, the enclosed underbelly, the roof ladder, um, a, a couple other things just to kind of make the whole camping experience just simpler, easier, more enjoyable. That is a power awning, by the way. It's a new easy tilt power. Well, it's not a new awning, but it's new to SLX. They hadn't used this before, easy tilt awning with LED lighting. But this I love. This simple, but just a propane cooker hooker down here that this camper did not used to have. That is a very useful feature. If you want to, one of the cool things is that rear compartment, you saw how big it was? Part of the reason it's that large is that if you want to, you can put a little mini fridge in there. Jayco actually has an option for it. That's what's called the chill and store. It's a mini fridge that goes under that compartment right there. Well, the fridge, plus having the, the, uh, the gas grill quick connect right there, well, that's kind of like an outside camp kitchen. So you have the choice. You can make your own outside kitchen or you can just enjoy a ton of storage. Speaking of which, if you saw our flyby footage when the video first began, this has a true full pass through. Not just a big door on one side, but big doors on both sides. Nice and tall, nice and wide, gets you in and out of there. Uh, it, like whether you're doing hitching your wheel chocks or your camping stuff or a tote for your sewer stuff, whatever works for you. Power tongue jack is standard on these. Um, also propane tank cover. That's another thing that a simpler series trailer like this will often lack but Jayco just does it standard here. Um, now over here, a couple other uh, things I mentioned at the start of our video, 
But in this class of camper, outside showers and black tank flushes, you're lucky to get those, either one or the other, and Jayco does both standard. Now I mentioned, I think it's got a really good look to it, and it's almost, it's almost imperceptible. You don't consciously recognize it, but that little deep, rich blue accent in there, it still just kind of puts that just little spark of color into things and says, yeah, remember, we're a Jayco. We're the Bluebirds, guys. And it, I love it. It's just enough I love it. Now, you may have noticed, it's not just rear camera ready. It is also side camera ready now. All Jayco towable RVs, effectively, at this point, are rear and side camera ready. The SLXs, the J-Flights, did not always have that previously. That spare tire is another option that we've added here. And another thing these have, nobody else does, is J-Smart lighting. So what, what'll happen here, with most RVs, you flip on your right-hand turn signal and that tail light's going to blink. On your Jayco's, all of the associated side marker lights and some additional upper clearance lights are going to blink along with that signal to tell other drivers on the road what you're doing. Plus, there's extra lighting on this that ignites when you're shifting into reverse so you can see what you're doing, whether you have a spotter, whether you're using a backup camera, or if some ding bat pulls in front of you at the gas station and you gotta carefully inch your way out, people are going to realize you're backing up and hopefully <laughs> get out of the way and help you a little bit. Now, once again, at the time of this filming only a few days ago, that's what they looked like over there. Notice it has a little bit of a taupe colored roof. Well, when we pan over here to the brand new ones, it is just polar stark white, almost blindingly so. Uh, like, uh, I, I'm almost wishing I had my sunglasses or my transition lenses up here, just wearing my contacts today, obviously. But the brighter color on this will naturally be more reflective. It'll help keep the sunshine out of the RV, which is very nice. Uh, they are still roof solar prepped. We're still walking on plywood instead of OSB. You may have noticed how, once again, this offers a rear ladder that very few trailers in this class offer. And in fact, several companies who used to offer an optional rear ladder no longer uh, uh, offer it, nor do they even put the supports in the walls to add a ladder, whereas Jayco's basically doing both. And if you're noticing, they are not shy about piling on the roof ceilings on these, no sir. And please, if you haven't done so already, leave me a couple comments uh, or, or like our video, like let us know, what do you think about the new look of these? Are they moving in the right direction? Do you like the updates that are on these compared to last year? I'm all ears and I'm happy to feed as much of that as we can back to the manufacturers so that they know what they're doing well. And if you appreciate the fair way that we go about this stuff, if you haven't done so, subscribe and follow along here. We're family owned and operated. Just your, your viewership, your comments, your support, your subscriptions really mean a lot to us. And uh, we, we can't, we just can't thank you folks enough. Thank you so, so much. Short of that, when you're ready, we're ready. And by the way, we have a whole fleet of 264 BHJ flights that we put in our rental program. So if you want to kind of dip your toes in the pond before you dive head first, you're somewhat local in the area, give us a call. You can try it before you buy it with Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.